I've got a lot to talk about today. For the first time in a while, I took the subway. I usually walk everywhere I go or take the bus, say, on the surface. And I went to an area that I never come because it's not a great area. Coming down to Walmart to do some shopping. And that subway ride made me realize, and the walk here made me realize I have so much to be grateful for, but also how many, how many problems there are in this city, in this world, with the homeless crisis and everything. First, I'm going to show you this little rocky area. Just a couple of weeks ago, there was a camp here. Because it was so public, the government doesn't want it to be here. So what do you think happens? They kick them out and make it so they can't ever use the spot again. They rip up all the grass and throw down rocks so no homeless person can, you know, survive here. This is what I'm talking about. Not even like three weeks ago, there was a small camp here. Now it's gritty, it's dirty, and kind of scary. But it is what it is. And look at it right there. You can see, you know, government pays houseless, accessible land. But to remove people from the only place they have to be, you know, sleep and be somewhat comfortable, it's disgusting and making, taking it away so they cannot come back. And it just makes me realize how much I actually have to be grateful for. Now, I've got a couple stories about the trip here to where I am at the moment on the subway ride and the walk over. The fastest way for me to get here is to take the subway. I could, you know, walk, but that's going to take five hours and I just, I need new clothes. Jump on the subway, go towards the end and get on. Sit down and right across from me, there's a homeless man. He is, you know, across three chairs and he's laying down and he's asleep. And it makes me think that I have a lot to be grateful for because I don't have to sleep on the subway. I don't, I have a place to be, I have a place to be safe. And you know, not only that is, you can tell he's homeless. I'm looking at him and then looking at me. I, I don't look homeless. I don't, that doesn't look like me. And that's another thing I have to be grateful because comparatively, I'm fairly put together. I don't have any substance abuse issues. Not only that, I get to have clean clothes. I get to have a shower every day and I have a guaranteed safe place to go to sleep. It might not be extravagant and it might not be, you know, perfect, but it's a place I can go and be safe. And a lot of homeless people don't have that. And when they do hide in a spot, they pick the wrong spot and they are moved out. Then they're left with nothing living on the subway. But the go on with the story is I was sat down and I'm sitting there. Two stops go by. I'm like three. My my stop is only like three stops away. Um, at the second stop, a bunch of teenagers get on and there's open seats, so they sit down. And then they start, you know, talking and bad mouthing the guy sitting, laying down. They're making comments like, "Oh." There's a reason why these seats are open. There's so many seats open because a hobo slap slept there. You can't really sleep here. And they're saying it loud. This guy's trying to sleep. They're directing it towards him to, you know, make fun of the guy. I I don't want to start a fight, but I'm biting down on my lip hard. And I get to my stop, and I wish, you know, I could stay on, but I don't. I can't beat up, like, eight kids. And if I did, I'm going to get into a lot of trouble. But I did make a comment. I called them like, you guys are fucking assholes. Let the poor guy sleep. Who gives a shit? Don't be assholes. And then I was getting off the train. Yeah, I know. Protect myself. And hey, it's just sad. So then I'm at the subway station at my destination. And I'm walking towards the stairs to go up the stairs and get onto my bus. Well, this woman, she is also going up the stairs. She's getting ready to go up. And she's another person who's homeless. 100% obvious. She was wearing green sweatpants that were like oil stained black and she was carrying a garbage bag over her back. There was a couple of people behind me who were going faster than me. They start walking up the stairs and they get to where she is and they kind of stop, turn around and go back down the stairs to avoid the person. I don't care. Like I'm, I'm not afraid of really anybody and that person's not going to cause any harm. So I slowly make my way up the stairs and same thing happened again. You see a bunch of people getting ready to come down the stairs. They take a look at this this woman, stop, turn around and go use another step of stairs. Actively avoiding a person uh, based on the way she looks. Now, I don't look like that. It's another thing I have to be grateful is I don't look dirty. All my clothes are clean, my body is clean. That's another thing I have to be grateful for because I have access to that. But I still really feel bad for this person, people actively avoiding them. When I finally got to the top of the stairs, that's when I realized how much of a wasteland this has become. This place is zombie land. At the top of the stairs, there's someone sitting down right in front of the stairs, uh, panhandling in the subway station. Okay, I got nothing to give him. I just move on, but he looks really bad off. Like, 
all of his clothes are muddy and dirty and he looks really bad. I finally get up to the deck where my bus is and there's like four more people panhandling out in front of the subway station. Whatever, I wait for my bus, get on the bus, get to my stop and start walking towards the mall where I'm at right now. Just down the street, walking down that street. I counted, what, there was one person in front of the liquor store panhandling and there's like four more right at the side of the road just, you know, walking up and down at the lights trying to get money to, from people at the cars. And it goes even further than that. It's, there was a younger woman near the liquor store. She's got a cane and she's all arched over. And the thing is, she is young. She's like close to my age. 30s. But I don't know what drug it does, but it makes you like lean over and hunch over and it ruins your back. I think they call it nodding off or like make you freeze in place. And yeah, she's out there panhandling with a cane and that when people are down, they go down bad. But I also believe that it's kind of the government's fault taking away from people who have nothing and making them have even less, not even a place to sleep. Now I know you can't help everyone, but it doesn't mean, you know, you have to make their lives worse. And I just want to say finally, thank you guys for tuning into my videos and, you know, giving me support because if I didn't have you guys, I think I could go downhill mentally very fast. This little growing community of mine has helped me out a lot. It's kept me going and kept me motivated to you know, stay the course, work hard, and not fall into despair. So thank you guys very much, and I love you guys very much. Now, if you'll excuse me, i got to risk the mall and go in and buy my new jeans and hopefully find a nice sweater to look all fancy. You guys take care, and if you're not subscribed, so you guys take care. Bye-bye.